Pfizer reports on test tube trials of its vaccine. And there's news that the test tube studies show an engineered version of this virus. The troubling variant out of South Africa is already spreading in the United States. And now the news from Pfizer that it may reduce the effectiveness of the Pfizer vaccine. Meg Terrell was off tonight, but up with us now for this breaking news. Meg, what can you tell us? Hey, Chef. Well, you know, the uh, study that was just published in a letter to the New England Journal of Medicine essentially looked, as you said, in a lab with these engineered versions of this uh, variant uh, associated with the UK, looking at how well uh, the vaccine could potentially neutralize those versions of the virus. And what they found is that the neutralization levels were two thirds lower against that B1351 variant compared with uh, the older variants uh, of the virus. Now, what is unclear is what effect that would actually have in the real world. We don't know exactly what level of neutralizing antibodies are needed to provide that protection, and we don't have real-world trial data, like we saw from Johnson & Johnson, for example, or from Novavax, showing how well the vaccine protects against this variant. It is not a surprise to see that in the lab you would see a decline in the neutralization titers or antibody levels uh, like this, as we have seen in other studies and that Dr. Fauci has mentioned a number of times. Um, and we don't know, you know, whether there would be protection against severe disease, which is what we saw in the J&J &J study in South Africa. Even though the efficacy overall was 57 percent, it's still protected against severe disease and hospitalization. Shep, back over to you. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.